These are Shredware Shin Saber Socks. Say we all fall, but it's much safer when you're protected. Shredware Shin Saber Socks are made to help absorb the impacts taken by your shins during bumps and falls. Are insertable and removable pad design combined with R. Fashionable styling will keep you looking and feeling great before, during, and after the session. Made for all skill levels. Shred on. Shred on. Word. Um, yeah, I got these from, from Phil Grip, the man himself, at uh, Rampant Camp. And uh, this will be my first time opening them, so let's see, uh, see what they feel like. It's hard with one hand. There we go. These are socks. Uh, I feel like pretty quality socks on first impression. I do like this uh, shredwear sort of thing. Got some pink accents. Nice touch. Uh, yeah, these feel like quality socks. And you can feel the pouch where the pads go in. So, so far, first impression looking good. Came with a really cool, really cool, uh, geez, just reflective, uh, kind of like a shiny Pokemon card sticker. So that, I'm all about this. Alright, here's the padding. Very, um, I guess would be dense. Um, it definitely feels like it's going to take some, um, some shock absorption, so. Alright. Feels interesting. Kind of like, um, reminds me of, like, some sort of flotation device kind of feel. But, uh, and it's thick. That is, uh, probably going to be pretty protectant. Right, let's toss these on and see how they feel. Alright. First fit of the socks. Or almost feel kind of like, uh, kind of like a dress sock, honestly. Oh, and they go up really high. These can actually go up over my knees. These uh, these go up pretty high. It's neat. Um, <laughs> that's all up to my knee, my thigh, and then. My, my snuggie. So wait, was this standing up? It if I was wearing my snuggie, it would go all the way up underneath the snuggie. So uh, I don't know what kind of reference that is for you, but it it that's there. All right, so actually let's try stuffing this in now. See if it's manageable with one hand. I think it can work. A little tight. That's probably probably a good thing. So you can take these out and you can wash the socks. Um, I believe you can like wash these protecting pieces as well. But um, yeah, I forgot. Phil Grip told me, and I, I just totally forgot. It's kind of cool. You can see the shred wear through the sock. Interesting. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it does come through. Oof. All right, get in there. All right, that is nice. I mean, maybe these will conform a little bit better. Mm, the designer in me wants to say maybe if these were kind of angled at the bottom, it wouldn't be as protrusive as the bottom. Um, they're definitely more noticeable than my footprints for sure, but they also have a much, much wider range of coverage, so I guess that's to be expected. Yeah, the only thing I would say is it would be nice just to have these bottom parts a little bit sort of rounded down. You lose a little bit of protection there, but they will be a little bit more sleeker, I feel like, because these uh, bottom protrusions are a little on the big side. I don't mind it, but um, just 
something to uh, take it, maybe think about for the future. Okay, let me put the other one on and um, actually, you know what? Let's uh, let me put my footprints on and get a comparison. Okay, so these are my footprint. Um, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> uh, the footprint socks. Uh, these are actually made with skateboarding in mind, so they have um, some ankle bone protection and then a strip right here. Pull this inside out. You can see that there's a strip on the inside about eh, two inches wide maybe. And um, this is made from the footprint insole material and they work pretty good. And they're very sleek but there are definitely some some issues that I've had and they're dirty too I, I need to wash them but um and I've also got a hole in the back here and then uh yeah there's still plenty of room on the sides when I put them on you'll be able to see uh let me just put them on now I'll be right back all right so here is a difference um looking back there it's definitely a much wider area of protection with the shred wear shin guards shin sabers um and uh much sleeker with the footprints but again no uh not as much side protection uh but this just really covers the bone this will cover uh about halfway to well, a little less than half maybe a third all the way around for me on my skinny tiny legs um the the ankle bone protection is actually kind of nice in these footprints, but um, for rollerblading, it's uh, not ne not necessary. It almost gets in the way sometimes, but I do not mind actually this um, these ankle bone, heel bone, whatever protections. Um, and that's it. So these are a little bit. The footprints are definitely more discreet than the shred wear. But I mean, I think the <laughs> the thing with the shred wear is that they are pretty loud and. You want to, um, it's cool. I mean, look, look how, look how rad that is. You can be wearing shorts and be repping, repping the shred wear. So aesthetically, um, I'd say the footprints are, are, are cleaner. Um, but if you want to be a little bit more loud and represent the shred wear, uh, which I'm all about, I would say shred wears. I'm definitely going to be pretty much using these as my primary shin guards. Or I might even use them in conjunction, especially when it gets cold outside. I could wear two pairs of socks. So I could wear both in tandem, and um, yeah, let's move on. Uh, I got some G-forms, so I'm going to put those on and we'll do a comparison of those. Okay, so here's a comparison of my G-forms and the Shredwares. They are, these ones I usually actually wear on top of the footprint ones because they're, they're not exactly snug and they, they tend to slide around um if they're if i just have just these shin guards on uh i guess i needed a smaller size i got these for like like three dollars or five dollars or something from the uh from a uh, um one of those amazon return stores or whatever um so yeah i got a great, great deal on these i did not play full price for them um but uh yeah these work but they need something else they are just too slippery and there's actually no I'm not sure if this is the right um the right leg that this is supposed to be on there's no indication of of this is if this is the right or a left one because they have these slants um but again like like uh yeah it would be nice to have this sort of design where it's um more ovally I guess I don't know what the word is but more ergonomic maybe is the word I'm looking for as compared to just a flat sheet but I, I, get, I get it um these are just the very first ones um, but yeah, as far as protection goes, oh yeah, this definitely offers way more protection than the G-forms. I, I can feel a lot more impact just punching my shit here. Um, and yeah, so this does seem like, honestly, for protection-wise, it seems better than even the combination of the footprints and the G forms. All right, so I've got my skates on and have on the left my 
footprints and the G-forms. Tread wear still on the right one. Uh, as far as clearing the ankle space in the skates, uh, no problem. Plenty of room. Not, not disruptive at all. Uh, the G-forms actually kind of digging a little bit to the the upper tongue cuff area, the upper, yeah, there we go, you can see. kind of the upper tongue cuff areas, so, um, if that's something that, uh, you're not keen on, something to think about, I guess I could, I could pull them up a little bit more. That's the thing still with these G-forms, they just, they are not in there, whereas these, these shredwares aren't going anywhere, so that's definitely a, I guess, well, I mean, they move a little bit, but nowhere near as loosey-goosey as these things are. Uh, being combined with a sock definitely helps. Although I know if you, if you or if I want to be more stealth, I want to be. I would probably wear the footprints. But you know what? I want to represent shred wear, so I will probably continue wearing these. And these are a little bit. Um, you know, I don't. I don't know what I was going with that. So <laughs> just keep on keeping on. Uh, but anyways, the. Um, so if I'm bang, I bang on my shins here with my selfie stick. I definitely feel a lot more impact through these G-forms and footprint insoles, uh, footprint insole socks. <laughs> but, uh, and, and definitely on the side where the footprints aren't there. This is, uh, I'm feeling that on my muscles here, on these calves. And then back here, yeah, there's not protection. So, all around the same absorption, which is really nice. So maybe I maybe I, I, I take it back about about having the this contour a little bit more because this does. I, I've hit in here a few times before, and uh, it don't feel good. So you know what? Maybe I change my mind. Maybe this is a better design. I don't know. We'll actually see when when I try these out. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not necessarily against it now. <laughs> I'm pretty banging on this thing and I barely feel it. That's uh that's pretty good. Alright, let's get a shot of, of how they look. I'm wearing a Snuggie right now and I'm too lazy to change out of it, so um <laughs> let's see what they look like with the Snuggie on. <laughs> Mobility goes. Um, I'm actually getting a little caught on these on my on my tongues here. I don't think that's necessarily an average situation. I pulled I pulled up a little bit too more actually. Um, a little weird feeling with going over the knee. I guess I could just slide this down like this, and they don't have to necessarily go over my knee, which is a little bunch. These. A little slicker. These should feel hair warmer than than the, the footprint deform setup. And that's two layers too, so something to consider. Plenty of movement. Um, honestly, actually, the shredwear shin guards are a little bit less noticeable than. The G forms. Um, maybe it has something to do with all this material and the, the pattern. Uh, but this feels more like I'm just wearing a sock. I don't actually notice, even though this pad is bigger in size, I don't. Uh, doesn't seem as noticeable for the moment. Okay. I do want to point out that the design on this packaging is really cool. I think that would be really cool as like a design on the socks or whatever themselves. But yeah, I love this. I love this pattern. It is very visually pleasing to me. Alright, so if you want to pick a pair for yourself, you can get them from Shred... Ugh, sorry, Shredware.net. 
and uh, they are on the site. They have a cool video. Let's check this out, shall we? Mr. Phil showing them off. That is rad. Geez, that's a rad trick. I think it's a thing that that's a much better demonstration of, of how they, they slide in, slide out than I could do. <laughs> Anyways, they are thirty-five dollars on the website. They come in small, five uh, men shoe size, US five to seven and a half, medium men shoe size, eight to ten and a half, and large is, is for eleven to thirteen. Um, I don't remember what size I got. It might have been small, it might have been medium. I can't remember, but uh, my assumption would be medium for what I got. Should wear does it again. With another stylish way to stay protected. The shin saver socks are high quality not that socks with insert insertable and removable shin pads. Giving you the option to easily pad up whenever you're e you are ready to shred and easily depad when you're done. Their sleek design provides effective protection without being bulky. Uh, and they also have um, shorts which I've not tried. Um, but uh, I'm a little could be curious about these but I've not had the best best luck with them. Um, the kind of the bum saver pads but anyways that's all I got uh, I'll report back when I try them out um, it's the uh, it's a thing of I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to test these out but I, I actually don't want to test them out too much because I don't want to fall on my shin, but I'm sure it's going to happen, so I'll report back later. Again, thanks for watching. Let's check out this packaging one more time because it is so cool. I do love that. And you can contact Shredware at, uh, or on Instagram at shred underscore wear. That's it. <laughs> Instagram. And you can follow me on Instagram at uh, tryhardtree. And, um, there's a bunch of YouTube things, and I, I hear that it helps me, so if you want to, uh, do those things, you know what they are, I'm not, I don't even have to repeat them, um, do those, and, uh, this is kind of a, one of those low effort kind of videos, I'm just in the stages of testing my video, I don't know, prowess, and seeing what works and what doesn't, uh, if you like this kind of video, uh, these, this is much easier to do than... Then full-fledged edit. I'm, I'm really just going to try to mix it up. But uh, let me know what you think about this. And, you know, if you like product demonstrations like this, let me know. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.